good evening students this is manas patnaik your friend and tutor and in today's session we are going to do another example on this decart method what are we going to do sir we are going to find all the roots of this algebraic equation okay so there are going to be as many as four roots and let's see how this can be worked out this is going to be slightly time consuming 10 to 15 minutes maximum so i want all of you to be very very patient and be with me right till the end the solution is going to be very very satisfying and you have if you haven't seen the first video on Descartes method uh, please go ahead and watch that first because the concepts i had explained over there they're going to be directly implemented in this very video so here we go the first thing to do is to you need to check whether the given algebraic equation is in the Descartes format or not sir it is not in the Descartes format why sir because there is this x cube term to apply the Descartes method, you need to actually get rid of this term. If you saw my previous video, there the x cube term did not exist. So we had straight away applied the method and we equated the given equation to the product of two quadratics in P, Q, and Q dash. If you remember, right? Okay, so first of all, you need to get rid of this. Once you get rid of it, you can apply the method how do you do this sir uh, what we can do is basically we can calculate h h is basically you calculating h will help us uh, understand how much the roots have to be diminished once you diminish the roots you will automatically get rid of this again all of these things diminishing the roots concept is something that i have explained in transformation of equations uh, if you go to the description uh, of this video you'll find a playlist of this chapter one solution of equations there is this entire playlist go ahead and watch the video on transformation okay when you see that you'll understand what is the exact meaning of diminishing of roots okay sir. so uh, calculate h okay we are going to diminish the roots subtract the roots by h and what is h sir this is h okay n is the highest power which happens to be 4 in this case that is the degree basically sir this is a0 a1 a2 if you watch the coefficient of x power 4 is 1 so what we can do is instead of a naught we can write or replace it with one and in place of this a1 we can replace it with negative six when you plug in these two values what you have is a fraction okay three by two now whenever you have to diminish the roots it's better off to play with integers than to play with fractions here you've got a fraction so uh, this may get you into the calculation trouble so how can we get out of that trouble i propose a two stage technique in the first stage what we'll do is since we've got the value of h as 3 over 2 okay if we got this value as uh, let's say 3 over 5 or something like we got it 3 over 2 so we are going to multiply the roots by 2 if we got the value as 3 over 5 we would have multiplied the roots by 5 okay so we have to apply the transformation technique right secondly again h is equal to 3 by 2 after you've got an equation in y you can again calculate the value of h i am sure that you are going to get the value as 3 okay you will get rid of the denominator now you can again apply the diminishing of root concept basically what we are doing is we are diminishing the roots or subtracting the roots by 3 all of them right there are going to be four roots and you are going to get a new equation instead and don't worry let's apply the techniques and i'll summarize everything you'll get a much clearer picture of what what exactly has happened okay stage one what do we need to do sir we need to multiply the roots by two watch that essentially means the new equation that you are framing in y is such that the given equation roots let's say are alpha beta and gamma and delta the new equation that you are going to have will have its roots as 2 alpha 2 beta and so on is it okay this is your given equation in x this is your new equation in y this is what the case is so x is equal to y by 2 you can straight away plug in the value of x as y by 2 over here at these four locations, and you will have automatically an equation in y this is one way of doing it the easier way of doing it is using this technique start from 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 okay <laughs> use this concept this is something that i explained 
in the video of transformation of equations okay sir done solve it you are going to get end up with the same result so now you've got the uh, result when you multiply the all the roots by two stage one is complete in the second stage we are going to diminish the roots diminish by a quantity three okay even if you calculate the edge of value after the end of stage one you have this formula one over n a one over a naught minus one the degree is four a one's value so it is negative 12 and a naught it is one so negative 12 over 1 minus and minus will make a positive sign 4 3 is 12 you can clearly see that the denominator 2 is now out of the picture the reason being very simple we multiplied all the roots by 2 okay you understand this right that's the logic <coughs> okay now what so now we need to diminish the roots and for that what we need to do is you need to apply the synthetic division okay diminish the roots by three the numerator was three please remember okay so one minus 12 plus 12 plus 176 minus 96 all of them write them down in sequence this is how you need to write them down okay and you need to diminish them by three done sir copy paste three one three minus 12 plus three minus nine three into minus nine minus 27 plus 12 minus 27 minus 15 into 3 minus 45 plus 176 is 131 into 3 393 plus 393 minus 96 is 297 it is the remainders that we are interested in and we've got one again copy paste 3 into 1 is 3 minus 9 is minus 6 into 3 minus 18 minus 15 minus 33 into 3 minus 99 plus 131 is plus 32 again we've got another remainder there will be another remainder over here and then finally we can go here and here you'll understand copy paste 3 into 1 is 3 plus 3 minus 6 is minus 3 into 3 minus 9 minus 42 okay it is along these path we are going to have all the important coefficients of our new equation copy 3 into 1 3 again you can see now minus 3 plus 3 has become 0 this is what we had to do okay so not x our equation will be in terms of z now z power 4 plus 0 into z cube minus 42 z plus 32 minus 42 z square plus 32 z plus 297 is equal to 0 please note z power 4 and minus 42 z square secondly you've got plus 32 z plus 297 here they are okay now you can clearly see is there an x cube term no sir there is no x cube term we can straight away apply the Descartes method and from here on it is going to be easy okay but <laughs> there are a lot of calculations you need to go through right so um, I think we can summarize all of these things this was the original question the original algebraic equation which was given to us and we were asked to find the four roots using the Descartes method we observed that uh, on calculating h it worked out as 3 by 2 we applied this transformation y is equal to 2x we got a new equation in terms of y you can see this is in terms of y and again we calculated the value of h it worked out as true okay so you've got an integer value very well now you can diminish the roots by 3 right so we did that z is equal to y minus 3 remember all of these transformations are very very helpful it will reduce time and we finally got this now you can clearly see if you want h will automatically be equal to 0 and that is exactly what we wanted to do this is the diminishing of the roots concept right now we have ourselves this equation where we've got rid of the x cube term this can be equated to the product of two quadratics this has been written in terms of z remember uh, in the previous problem we did not apply the transformation because it was straight away okay there the problem uh, there in the problem this x cube term does not exist 
so we had applied the method straight away okay product of two quadratics focus on this rhs part three terms three terms three into three is nine nine terms in total x cube terms uh, z cube terms are going to cancel each other out please notice the coefficient of z square plus q dash minus p square plus q okay write them down z power 4 z square then z then the uh, the constants this is how it's done better to memorize these things okay you can skip these two steps better to memorize this okay sir now what to do so we had our equation in z right match the colored terms colored terms are the coefficients of z square the coefficient of z blue to blue and the constants orange to orange wonderful okay let's start with the coefficients of z square so you have q dash minus p square plus q is equal to minus 42 send this negative p square to the rhs you will have positive p square minus 42 and let's say this is our equation number one let us try and frame those equations first of all second equation can be framed using the coefficients of z sir uh, pq dash minus pq is equal to positive 32 you can take these p as common take p to the rhs that's your equation number two done okay time for constants qq dash is equal to 297 that's our third equation now let me list all the equations in one single page so you've got three equations and you've got three unknowns p q and q dash how do you solve them sir so generally we are uh, used to squaring and adding equations here we are going to square and subtract so squaring equation one and equation two both but we are going to subtract them so just take a look at the lhs part q dash plus q whole square minus q dash minus q whole square similarly p dash minus 42 whole square minus 32 by p whole square here it is okay if you try to simplify this this will end up in 4 q q dash here it is secondly p square will become p to the power 4 42 to the power 2 will become 1764 and uh, then you've got one sec 2 into 42 into p square that is 84 p square okay i hope you can understand these basics very very easily right then you've got 32 square 32 square is 1024 and denominator p square so here it is very easy very basic done so q q dash sir this value is already known to us what is the value sir it is 297 so you can replace this q q dash with 297 multiply it with 4 this is what you get 1188 now time to arrange all of these terms in a proper sequence sir uh, uh, e e even before that what we can do is we can get rid of this denominator let's multiply both sides by p square okay this is going to become p power 6 this is going to become p power 4 and yeah the rest can be taken care of very easily here it is done okay sir now what what we can do now is we can write it as p power 6 minus 84 p power 4 here it is p power 6 minus 84 p power 4 and what else we can do sir we can take p square as common 1764 minus 1188 here it is and this is the only constant term done okay so uh simplify this further we get the value as 576 fair enough sir but this is a very high power power 6 can we write p power 6 as p square to the power 3 yes sir we can do that so do it and let p square is equal to t so instead of writing this p square we can replace it with t and then cube t and its square okay now you've got a cubic equation it's very easy to solve a cu cubic equation we have learned different techniques like a uh, cardan technique is there or you can also use the inspection method uh, i am assuming that the students watching this video are btech students and you are allowed to use a scientific calculator in a scientific calculator you can apply uh, you can use the cubic equation you can solve a cubic equation basically so use the calculator solve the cubic equation these are the values that you are going to get 4 76.66 and 3.33 remember t is equal to p square so always observe these values carefully and please notice which one is a perfect square sir 4 is a perfect square okay so select that value again if your teacher is not happy 
of you being using a calculator uh, then you can straight away write by inspection we found that t is equal to 4 okay that means when you plug in the value of t as 4 into this equation this automatically works out as 0 this is what you can do there is no other thing you you cannot go ahead and apply the cardinals method again again there are going to be two to three pages more wasted right what we are interested in is applying the Descartes method and not the cardinal method let me be very very clear right <clears throat> okay choose the perfect squares t is equal to 4 that means p square is 4 p square is 4 then p is equal to plus minus 2 which value am i going to select sir i'm going to select the positive value done p equals 2 okay sir one unknown worked out two unknowns still missing q and q dash let me go back to the main page and update the result p is equal to plus 2 sir uh, we can put this p as 2 and this p also 2 2 square so this is going to be 4 minus 42 is minus 38 32 by 2 is 16 we can add these two equations you can see plus q and minus q will cancel and 2 q dash will remain which is going to be equal to minus 38 plus 16 that is minus 22 q dash will be equal to minus 22 by 2 that is minus 11 so we've got the value of q dash also p and q dash obtained now you can keep this value of q dash minus 11 over here let me do that minus 11 you will get the value of q as minus 27 let me update all the values so these are the values which we've got finally we've come a long way and time to have some fun okay uh, so focus on this part only right these two are equivalent no problem and uh, here we go color color coding is there you don't have to worry aqua then green just plug in the values separate them two roots from over here of z and two roots from here so let me make some space and let me get out of the picture watch a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to minus 27 basically we are using the shri dharacharya formula okay minus b plus minus root over discriminant over 2a here we have the value of a as 1 b as negative 2 and c as negative 11 answer let me plug in all of these values into these two formulas here we go so 2 to 4 minus minus plus 27 into 4 27 double is 54 and it's double is 108 108 plus 4 is 112 right similarly uh 11 4 is 44 minus minus plus plus 44 plus 4 plus 48 done 112 sir 112 okay so 112 can be written as 56 into 2 isn't it then we can write it as 7 into 8 into 2 okay sir then we can write it as 7 into 16 okay so under root of 7 into 16 is nothing but 4 under root of 7 so replace hard root 112 with 4 root 7 that's the first thing secondly you've got 48 2 into 24 yes sir that means 2 into 2 into 2 into 12 okay then 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 so these are the pairs right 4 root 3 done simplify this is fairly easy this is uh, divide by 2 negative 1 plus minus 2 root 7 and here 1 plus minus 2 root 3 you've got the results so these are the results of z your transformed equation that is not your given equation please note that this is not your given equation this is the transformed equation okay <laughs> let me show you the the the, the, the summary the uh, the transformed equations these are the roots of z you've got the roots of z that means of this equation from this equation you need to find the roots of y once you've got the roots of y you can get to the roots of x okay so we are still a bit far from the final result don't worry we are going to get to that initial transformation y is equal to 2x that means x is equal to y by 2 once you get the value of y you can get the value of x similarly z is equal to we diminish the roots by 3 and we framed another equation so y is equal to z plus 3 isn't it so once you get the value of z you can get y and once you get the value of y you can get the value of z x this is the funda so we already have all the values of z these are the values so done okay what's next 
so you need to add 3 add 3 3 minus 1 will be 2 uh, plus 2 root 7 that is 2 minus 2 root 7 4 plus 2 root 3 4 minus 2 root 3 these are the results similarly sir even here uh, what we need to do is let me get out of the picture um y by 2 so divide by 2 1 plus root 7 1 minus root 7 similarly 2 plus divided by 2 root 3 2 plus minus root 3 so these are the final results that is your not that is your answer okay you you need to give some respect to the transformations also right the values that we initially obtained were for the transformed equation in z then you've got the value of y then you've got the final value of x for your original problem I'm assuming this video has helped you quite a lot in understanding as to how Descartes method can be applied. Okay. When the X cube term is existing. <laughs> it went a bit long. 21 minutes now. But I'm sure this video has helped you understand this entire concept in a much better fashion in detail. So if you like this video, do share it with your friends and classmates so that they can also benefit. And also subscribe to the Manas Patnaik channel so that you do not miss any update thank you very very much for watching this video right till the end a big congratulations from my side take care and have a nice day